Hamza. Are you with me? Hamza. There are two kinds of Hamza. We are going to learn two kinds of Hamza. One is called Hamzatul Wasal. Hamzatul Wasal. Hamza of assimilation. Hamzatul Wasal. Hamza of assimilation. And the other one is called Hamzatul Qata. Okay. Now in the Quran which are printed in India, Pakistan, they do not differentiate between these two. Brother. They do not differentiate between these two. But the Quran which are printed in the Middle East, they are, Hamzas are clearly identified. And I think it is extremely, extremely important that we should follow the method which is in coming from Middle East because Arabic is their language. They know it, okay. So, what is the difference, brother? There are about eight or nine nouns in which, brothers and sisters, Hamza, when it comes, it's Hamza tul wasal. Okay. We are going to learn it slowly, slowly. You do not, I, I don't want to write everything on the board. I will just introduce to you Hamza tul wasal as it will come in the lesson. But I will try to explain you that in detail what happens with Hamdatul Wasal. If I write down, brothers and sisters, Al Kitabu, what is this, brother? Alif. Uh, no, Alif has no sound. No, it is Hamza. Alif has no sound. It is Hamza. Huh? What is it? Hamza. But you see, you are reading as Al. You gave a vowel sign on Hamza. And you gave a sukoon on Lam. Are you with me, brother? Every time you will see Al, you will read it Al without vowel signs. And you know there is a Fatah here and there is a sukoon here. You know it, brother and sisters. Now, Hamzatul Wasal, it will be only pronounced if it begins, the sentence begins with it. Otherwise you will not pronounce it. Are you with me, brother? If I say Al-Kitabu and then write down Jadidun, the sentence begins with Al-Kitabu. But suppose if I were to add here, wow, now what will become? wal kitab Oh, why did you not pronounce Hamza, brother? Why did you not pronounce, brother? Any reason? Sister Salma, the reason is that it is Hamzatul Wasal. It gets assimilated. Huh? When does it get assimilated? When it comes in the middle or a particle in front of it. Then you do not pronounce it. So what is this wow? It is conjunction. When it came in front of Hamzatul Wasal, you did not pronounce. You will say, Wal Kitab. But if I write, brother, Ahmad, do you see I put the thing here? This is the neck of Ain. What is it? Neck of Ain, huh? I put it, huh? okay. Hamza is written as a neck of the ayn. Okay. When the Hamzatul Qata comes, you got to pronounce it whenever it comes and wherever it comes. If I had to write down here, wa, what will you do? Wa Ahmadu. You cannot skip now. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? You cannot skip it now. You will always, always, always pronounce, no matter where it comes. So how do we differentiate? How do we differentiate? So whenever there is a Hamzatul Wasal, you will not put a Hamza sign. But there is a Hamzatul Kata, you will put that sign there. And because 
most of us are, our parents are from India, Pakistan, and we are used to India, Pakistan script. Whenever you write, you always write like this. And my teacher always used to say, in a red ink, she would write down, kata on it. To tell me that this is, Hamzatul kata, you must put the neck of ayin on it, to differentiate. If you only wrote, then this is technically incorrect. You have to write down with the neck of ayin. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? No. In order to tell people that this is Hamzatul Wasal, you don't write anything, but you put a little sign. It's kind of a small swad. This is for those who uh, have difficulty okay, in uh, identifying. So this is what Hamzatul Wasal and Hamzatul Kata is. Mm-hmm.